Hey everybody and welcome back. Certainly glad you could join me today. In this video we're going to look at creating an Ali label with style portrait. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting that notification icon. That really helps me out. And a huge thank you to all of my patrons and members. Your names will be running across the screen at the end of the video. So the first thing that we need in this scene is we need a character. So what we're going to do is we're going to load that character into the scene and rejoin when that's done. If you're interested in supporting this channel, feel free to visit the Patreon in the description below or just hit the join button next to the subscribe button. Now that we've got our character into the scene with some clothing on it, what we need to do is pick a pose. But before that, we're going to create our camera and we're going to do that by clicking on the camera icon here. And we're just going to hit all the default variables and hit accept. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure we've got it selected in the scene and we're going to hold down the alt key and click on all of the properties to set them to zero. That's got the camera into zero, zero, zero. And then what we're going to do is we're going to hit in the thousand in the Z axis. And because of our character's height, we're going to put the Y variable to about 160. And now when we jump into our camera, you can see that we're bang on the zero axis there, but the character's in the wrong place. So we're going to set all of her variables to zero as well, using the alt key again. And that, there we go, set that to zero. Now what we need to do is we're going to select our camera in the scene. And we're going to adjust the focal length so that we have our character in roughly the right distance from the camera. And then we can tweak the Y axis until we've got the crop right. And we're going to crop mid thigh. Generally, when we're doing portraits, we don't crop on a joint. We crop close to it. So we set this to mid thigh and then we've got a good three quarter length. There's no real need to have the lower legs in this shot. So we're not going to bother with that. So now what we need to do is create a pose for our character. So we're going to do that again. I'm not going to tell you which pose to use. You can choose that yourself and then I will rejoin you once we've done. Now that we've got a pose selected because we're using DeForce clothing, what we're going to do is we're going to run our simulation and just to show you that I'm not messing around with any funky settings or anything like here's my uh, here is my simulation settings. Everything's default. We're just going to run that through and see what comes out of it. So I will join you in a moment. So as you can see, I've had to do a bit of a outfit change because the dress that I had the character originally wearing kept exploding in DeForce, which is um, far from ideal, but there you go. So I've managed to jump, drop her into a different dress. And as you can see now, it looks a little bit more normal. There's still some weirdness going on, which I'm going to work on now. I'm going to have to move some joints because if we get in nice and close, 
you can see that where the uh, elbow is clipping into the breast it's actually causing some quite serious rucking on the dress and then if we go around the other side you can see that the mesh smoothing is causing that to happen so I'm going to move some joints around and fix that The next issue that we need to solve now that we've fixed the dresses clipping is the hands themselves. If you get nice and close, you can see that whoever made this pose was, uh, well, <laughs> wasn't paying a huge amount of attention to detail and there's some quite serious clipping going on there with the hands into the neck. So I'm just gonna play with those a little bit and get them so that they look a little bit more sensible just by using the hand pose controls on the right here. Now that I've got the hands into a position that I'm happy with, I need to set up the lighting. We can jump back into the camera and check that that all looks fine. And the first thing that I need to do is to make sure that the eyes are pointed at the camera. So we're gonna select those and we're just gonna point them at the camera, like so. And then we're going to go into our render settings and we're going to choose an HDRI, which is going to provide us with a very, very dim lighting for all of the details in the shot. So now you can see that we've got an HDRI in the scene, but the lighting at the moment is way too bright. So we're just going to drop the environment properties way down so that it's just providing a really, really, really dim light just to throw some detail into the shadows. We're also going to turn off and draw the dome and we're just going to rotate the dome so that the lighting is coming from the correct direction. Again, this still feels a little bit bright, so I'm just going to drop it right down so that it's more kind of that value like that. And then as you can see, it's really, really dim, but it's just putting some detail into those areas, which is what we're after. So the next thing that we want to do is we're going to go into texture shaded mode and we're going to come out of our camera so we don't actually move it and we're going to create a new light source so we're going to click on this shape here that looks like three shapes squished together and we're just going to leave all of these settings as uh, so so we're going to choose a plane we're going to leave the size at two meters and divisions just needs to be one and we're going to hit accept there we go so now we're going to select that object and we're going to move it into position using the various different tools available to us. There we go. And the beauty of being in Dash Studio is that we can make our light sources much bigger so that we can move them further away so that they're not going to be encroaching on our field of view. So what we're gonna do is gonna move the light source much further away from our character. Now 
And there we go. And that should do it. That should be out of our shot right now. Perfect. Now that we've got that in place, we can adjust the luminosity properties of it by going into the surfaces tab and where it says emission, we're going to change that to white by clicking on the bar and choosing the white color. We're going to change our units to KCDMR and then we're going to jump into NVIDIA preview mode to see how that looks. So you can see that that's a little bit bright. So we just need to drop those properties. I'm going to go down two stops to about 325. That should be about the right value. And there we go. That's much more like it. That's exactly what we're after. So you can spend some time fixing details like the lines in the forehead and such and then basically render this character out as a PNG when you're ready to move on to the next step. Next, we're jumping into Photoshop and I've created a new document. It's just a standard uh, 1080p resolution and I'm going to spend a couple of minutes just creating some new layers and applying effects to them and filling them with color in order to create a kind of mottled background effect. This is fairly standard. We're just going to create some noise and render some clouds on different layers and then kind of blur them all together. So we're just filling the layers, creating noise and rendering clouds and then merging them all together using blending modes in order to create a kind of mottled background effect. And then once I finish that, I'm going to bring in our carrot. And now that we've got that ready, we've dragged our character into the scene. I'm going to scale it up because we rendered our character in nice high resolution. There's plenty of detail there for us to do. And then we can just move it into roughly the right place. I'm quite happy with that there. And I think that looks pretty effective. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.